You guys want to hear a song that I wrote about four days ago? You really don't have a choice, you might as well be into it. Greetings. I am your Glenn Beck of Kerr Music, the Long Wannabe, and this is a song which really pisses me off. One beautiful face, plus one beautiful body, plus one terrible singing voice equals Katy Perry. Oh, Katy Perry. A woman whose onstage presence makes me want to gag bucketfuls. She can wear all the skimpy clothing she wants. It doesn't divert my attention away from her terrible singing voice. The same energy, now the dead battering. Katy Perry appropriately represents a tactic I hate in the musical industry, which has been steadily rising this millennium. No singing talent whatsoever! Her albums, these computerized digital fluffballs of yelps and chirps, are overplayed to the extreme. Her subject material is abysmal and old, and what really slaps a spoonful of mustard in my eye is her combination of shit cake material and party fun fun image. The boys gawk at her and forget the fact that she can't sing. The girls, they want to be her, so they sing along to her wretched lyrics. Men want to love her, and girls want to love her husband. I don't know why, but it would seem as though everybody envies her, except for me, and a few choice others who are brave enough to state the truth. But I can go on forever about this beauty of a canker sore. You're all probably thinking I'm going to talk about E.T. today, right? Wrong! I would never allow myself to be open to that kind of torture. So soon. Instead, I'm going to rant about a song which squeezes every fiber of my Katy Perry hate topics into one lemonade mixture of acid. Do you ever feel this so paper thin Like a house of cards, one blow from caving in Teenage Dream and California Girls are bad, but this song is so terrible, it holds a special place in my heart. It's so dull, so fake, and so overplayed, it's an ultimate piss-off. It's so ultimate, it is in fact near the top of my piss-off scale. That's how much I hate it. As you should Now before you all pelt me with your wide assortment of rotten fruits and vegetables, let me just say, I enjoy these kinds of songs. I am all for voicing your support in hopes of making a difference. It's perfectly okay to be who you are, no matter how you're living life. The only problem is, this song came out just as 15 other It's Okay To Be You songs were on the radio. The inspiring message behind the song was certainly dampened by that fact. Unlike these other chart toppers, Katy Perry decided to take her message and metamorphosize it into a metaphor. A metaphor which produces extremely tacky lines. A metaphor which has one of the highest sung choruses of all time. A chorus not a lot of singers can pull off, including Katy Perry. Fans justify her singing basis by declaring, It's simply a hard song to sing! Katie is obviously trying her hardest. Look how much fun she's putting into her dancing! <laughs> I take that answer and rebut with this simple question. Then why did she auto-pitch it that high? She should have known the song was way out of her league. Why reveal her mistake to the world by bellowing like a sick monkey? <laughs> So, what's with all the blood all over your shirt? I don't know. Unless I killed Kate. Oh. <laughs> Why would you kill Kate? It's always been inside of you, you. And now it's time to let it be. I feel like digging her up and killing her all over again. Not even the chorus's message can overshadow Perry's awkward singing. And speaking of awkward, 
How about that opening line? Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? No, I have not, Miss Perry. I won't deny the fact that I have never felt like a plastic bag swaying in the wind. Is this the lasting image of what a lost and lonely soul should look like? And this song is promoting itself to children, people with cancer, individuals who have terrible self-esteem, failing relationships, and... Gay people! Oh yeah, I failed to mention that this song has very well since become a very big gay rights anthem. I never would have assumed. So what other imagery can they shoehorn into this music video? The light. There are fireworks, tiny micro explosions, coming out of Katy Perry's breasts. Is this some kind of joke? Is the Care Bear trying to one-up Lady Gaga? Or is this video bringing the song's low-key metaphor into the deadly atmosphere of reality? You don't do that! I believe babies are God's little miracles, yes, but you don't show a pregnant woman's joy joy exploding into colors. It's extremely awkward. Your personality is what makes you a firework, not random colors and exploding pieces of God knows what flying around your personal space. We all special. I'm special. You're special. The mastermind behind Chef Boyardee is special. Imagine every fortune cookie phrase ever created stuffed into one song. Imagine every episode of Mr. Rogers stuffed into one song. Imagine a billion Ned Flanders stuffed into one song. It still can't compare to the boom boom whimsy of this song. This song is the whipped cream on top of an overzealous carrot cake made by Richard Simmons. It's too perky. Firework is a song which has a simple message, but overshoots its boundaries. Instead of landing with a safe lyrical distance, it falls beyond enemy lines and creates a tundra of self-help. Clip notes of what I just said. It tries too hard! The song goes to an oblivion in order to promote its good nature. The trip alone makes it stand out more than these other BU songs. Therefore, it's a better song because it's more in your face about it. Katy Perry shoves her whimsy in our faces so damn hard, we're practically inhaling firework fumes. Pink and Kesha tried their hardest, but damn it, Katy Perry is just so vibrant about everything. Her beautiful body, her short shorts, the way she bends over to arouse her viewers, it's sickening! And that music video, oh, it has a classic bleh factor to it. It sticks extremely close to the song by making a billion cliches in just four minutes. It's been seen before, it's boring, and yet, the song's blazing magic makes this video cheat its way into getting an A rating. Especially thanks to fire boobs. Those things always get a thumbs up. Look at me! Look at me! Did I just admit Katy Perry tried her hardest on a song? No. The computer wizards who modified her CD did a hell of a job, but she didn't. Kissing girls for the first time, being in hot and cold relationships, and now inspiring the world about how explosive they are, Katy Perry simply has no best. She has her past and her future. There will never be no best until she comes out with something truly emotional and influential. This was just a snore. I'm the long wannabe, and remember, if it's current mainstream music, I am almost bound to hate it. Thanks for watching, all you little fireworks! One beautiful voice, plus one, no, not a beautiful voice, that, no, they sing along to her wretched lyrics. Once more. Did I just admit Carrie Perry, Carrie Perry? <laughs> Man, this is going to be a big blooper reel.